What is up guys and welcome back to another video today we're gonna be talking about how to do thumbnails as you guys see I have my kind of notepad here so I'm gonna read off of it so uh, yeah I will be showing you guys how to make a couple of websites to make thumbnails for free so to get straight into it there are a couple of choices to make thumbnails as you guys see right here I have pixel art which is great but complicated so you can use it if you know how to use all of the tools but I personally do not like pixel art that much so I do not recommend using it uh, next up we do have Panzoid which is a fantastic website and you can use it for any channel art. It has many text options and makes clean looking art and it looks very very nice and clean. Uh, and next up we have do we do have Google Drawings which is very easy to use but it does like many features in text and the dimensions of the drawings are a bit tricky so it is not very ideal and layers are very easy to use. So yeah, we're going to go one by one. And then first of all, we're going to start with um, Google Drawing. So basically, you can use this for free, of course. Just go on, if you have a Google Drive account or a Gmail, whatever, just go on your drive. And then you can create a drawing for yourself. And you can basically do anything you want. So first of all, we're going to start by clicking on Insert. And then we're going to click where here, right here where it says Image. And then we can uh, have we have different uh, ways of uploading an image. So we could search here for anything we want. You could go on Google Drive, anything you have in your drive, your albums. If you have a URL, which is only the image, not a website, only the image. Or you could take a snapshot by like taking the snapshot with uh, your camera or something of that sort. So if you click uh, choose an image to upload, which I will. Uh, you guys are gonna do this after you do go on Google as you see I already did search something on Google you guys can search blue grunge background or any color background so like 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 for example it's the green green grunge background it does pop up with these nice backgrounds to choose from you can even choose this one I know a lot of people do choose this one uh, this is 1280 by 720 by the way and then the drawings are not 1280 by 720 so you guys are gonna have to kind of if you guys can find a template so if you look up uh, thumbnail template for YouTube you guys can find it paste it on top of uh, or paste it on the bottom and then just uh, do your thumbnail over it so after you do find your green grudge background let's say for example I want to do this you put save image as you save it wherever you can find it really quick and then you go back here put choose an image to upload I will and as you see these are my ps4 pictures from yesterday's video um, I'm gonna do the brown grunge background right here for you guys real quick wait for it to upload and then we will select it put some text on it put some pictures on it maybe and we'll see how this goes um, yeah so this is for Google Drive drawing you guys need a picture of course as your main background for example right here okay so as you see right here uh, you see how there's a little space over here like leftover I we're gonna leave it like that because the whole dimensions of this drawing do not fit the thumbnail so this is has to be a bit smaller so this is gonna be our uh, like canvas we're gonna call it yeah canvas so we go to insert once again and we do not want to go to text box because if we go to text box it's only plain boring text so we're gonna go to word art we're gonna click word art and for example we're gonna do you guys are gonna hear me typing right real quick uh, you do want to put thumb okay thumbnail thumbnail tutorial right here you press enter and then you get your thumb you get your uh, text not your thumbnail so basically right here this little toolbar is where you customize everything um, if you do want to put another text box you can I do not recommend using normal text boxes so yeah this basically is your uh, like the filler color so basically we're gonna do this at the end this is the outline color and then this is the thickness of your outline color and then this is the design of your outline this is bold and italic of course if you insert link or comment those are irrelevant so we're not gonna take a look at that but basically first of all we're gonna go to here and we can choose our fonts these are the only fonts you do get but if you do want you can go to more fonts and you can look up a bunch of other fonts so for example we're gonna do this real quick we're gonna click Anton uh, let's look for some others one other ones that we like I hope you guys can't hear that in the background of course they're coming to take the trash at the moment uh, Alec Acme uh, bangers, uh, yeah, no thanks, uh, that reminds me of something, for Doka 1, uh, Bevan, and then we're gonna go with Luckiest Guy. Okay, so basically now that we have these, we can go and, uh, choose these, and we can see which ones we do like the best. Um, I like Anton, Bevan, Bevan's okay, I like Anton the best though so far, for Doka 1, yeah, I do like Anton the best. 
So if these guys could shut up in the background, that'd be nice, bro. Like, seriously. Okay, so basically we do have this so far. Sorry for that vibration. Um, yeah, EA Sports is tweeting out. So, uh, you guys see as you see how I move that? And then there's a red bar right there. That's kind of to align it to the middle. So if I want to put it in the middle, like, directly, there's another red line uh, horizontally. So you guys can do that if you want. Uh, thumbnail tutorial right here. We're going to put it about right there. And then we're going to make it a little bigger. And we're going to go up here. And then we're going to do basically what color. So a color that does stand out right here because the background is uh, black and uh, black. It's orange and like a dark red, kind of like a lava color. So we can go dark red, but that doesn't stand out. Orange doesn't stand out. Yellow will not stand out. Green or these uh, like colors won't stand out. So we're going to go dark blue right here. And um, I don't know what kind of dark blue we're going to go. I think we're going to go for a lighter blue so it can stand out most, uh, mostly. So we're going to go for this kind of color. And then we're going to go for a, let's see, what can we go for right here? Um, let's see. So we're going to go for, I think I'm only going to do a Google Drive tutorial for this because this is kind of taking longer than I expected it to take. And then we're going to do Panzo in our next episode. So, uh, yeah, thumbnail tutorial right here. Let's see. That does look pretty nice. So we're going to do thumbnail tutorial. And then we're going to do like another word art word art what am i talking about 2016 we're gonna do this in another in another uh text font i kind of like this text font actually 2016 we're gonna make this bigger so it can stand out and then we're gonna do it uh color to contrast this just so it could stand out even more and it looks very nice so i like that color a bit and then what color in the back we'll do a bit of i don't know what we should do here Let's try, okay, not that. Uh, let's try black. That does look pretty clean. So we're going to go for that. And then, for example, we can go right here and go to shapes. And then we can do a bunch of other things. Uh, like, let's say, for example, we want a lightning bolt, call outs, anything of that sort does look pretty nice. But what I do like to look up right here, if you go right here and you do look up, uh, you can look up, I forgot what it's called, black, not grunge background, black, uh, like, t texture texture png i think it's called i don't know no it's not but there's just like something like this so like let's wait for this to load up we grab it you don't even have to save it you can just drag it over to here most of the time so it does look yeah so you see that kind of does look like flies it doesn't even look that great but sometimes what i like to do is you can put this under so you quick or right quick and then this is how you do the layers i forgot i was i forgot to mention this but you quick order you put send backward send backward again because oh, obviously this is the first layer this is the second and this is the third so uh what you're going to want to do is quick send backward one more time and it will be behind all the text so for example if you guys want you can do this make it bigger make it stand out make it look nice and clean um yeah so you, you control c and then control v and then you do this once again, but you have to uh, send it to the back. And if you guys want to, you can send it to the back. Right click once again, order and bring forward. And then it will send it like right behind all the text right away. So that looks, does look pretty nice. And then uh, let, like, let's say what other black textures can we get? Uh, let's see if we can do another like blue texture to counteract that uh, little blue patch we do have. Uh, let's see is this good I think this is a PNG hopefully it's a PNG let's see if this does load up if it doesn't yeah there we go now we're gonna drag it over here I don't think that's a PNG actually that's yeah that's unfortunate uh, but yeah all right so you guys get my uh, gist you guys can look up any textures you want and then like for example we can do arrows PNG we're gonna get like this what arrow should we get um Let's get these kind of arrows and then we're going to drag it over here. I don't think this is a PNG either. Yeah, these P these aren't even PNGs, bro. I'm looking up PNGs. All right, let's see this one. That's that's not a PNG either. Uh, if you guys see like when it, when you drag it, if you see how it has like a background, that means it's not actually a PNG. There we go. This is a PNG, definitely. Uh, probably not the best choice to get orange arrows just because it's a orange background and it's not going to help much by pointing but you do rotate the pictures by using this little circle right here and you can it does say the degrees so you basically do this and you drag it you do drag it more and more over here and let's say we can do this control c control v to copy and paste 
scroll over here and then we do go this way once again and basically we actually know that doesn't look good we're gonna do control C control V once more and then we can rotate uh, flip horizontally I think it is yeah flip horizontally there we go we're not gonna resize it just cuz um, I don't I don't want it to look different and I don't I want it to be kind of equal so we're gonna equal so you see that red line that means it's gonna be perfectly lined up so that is my thumbnail tutorial that does look pretty nice I could probably change this color a bit just to make it look a little bit better maybe that looks better something of this sort uh, that purple looks nice as well you guys have many colors to choose from that's pretty much it for uh, the Google drawing you guys could put any PNG so as long as you want to do anything for thumbnails that has a transparent background basically you just look at PNG and it won't have any thumbnail or not any thumbnail not, no background so basically that's gonna look pretty nice on your uh, thumbnails and it's gonna look super super clean you guys can look up arrows arrows do look nice in thumbnails but remember my biggest tip for Google Drive if you are going to use it is leave a little space on top and the bottom right here and right here because if you don't then the whole thumbnail is gonna like not fit in the picture and it's gonna cut off at some point so yeah guys that is what I recommend for Google Drive drawings that is my tips for you guys today so I hope you guys did enjoy leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I will see you guys in the next video have a fantastic day and I'm out